Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a professor for social work management. And you are listening to Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. Despite the various potentials and risks of VR that have already been reported elsewhere, its expansion into formal education is still slow. The peculiarity of formal education, such as in vocational education or in higher education, is that institutions often face challenges that can either promote or prevent educational innovations. Therefore, its barriers and supporting structures must be analyzed thoroughly. Thus, in this podcast, I will develop an answer to the question of how can virtual reality be sustainably implemented into formal education. In doing this, I will present a specific didactical framework recently developed in an EU project called Hotel Academy. Let's start with a description of the Hotel Academy project and then I will move on to the didactical framework itself. First things first, the Hotel Academy project. The research and development project Hotel Academy aims at designing a role play scenario for students and teachers at universities specialized in the training and education of tourism and hotel management. More specifically, a learning environment based on VR technology provides a unique opportunity to handle a multitude of situations compared to real life experiences in these fields. The aim is to develop the professional, methodological and social components that learners require for their future professional activities. All scenarios work online and include participants from three different universities in Cyprus, France and Germany. The access is provided via head-mounted displays of the news generation, providing the full immersion effect of VR. Access to the environment is also possible via a computer. Each user can create his own personalized avatar that guarantees best possible way of interaction and communication in the VR environment. Let's come now to the didactical framework itself. A respective framework for this sustainable implementation of learning and teaching innovations was proposed by Euler and Seufert in an article from 2007 which provides the conceptual and theoretical basis for the documentation and also the validation of the didactical framework in our project. The didactical framework describes different dimensions for the implementation of innovative technologies and therefore primarily supports the development and definition of innovation strategies in educational institutions. Following the main idea of the Euler and Seufert framework, so-called education managers must balance out risks and potentials of educational innovations in five main dimensions. The didactics, the organization, the technology, the economy and the culture. The dimension didactics focuses on the pedagogic benefits of educational innovations, the achievements of learning outcomes and the impact on curriculum designs. The dimension organization emphasizes the structural and procedural integration of innovative technologies in educational institutions. From a technology perspective, aspects of the IT infrastructure, IT policies or IT governance must be considered when implementing VR in formal processes of educational institutions. To successfully integrate educational innovation into an institution in terms of economy, costs and benefits must also be balanced out and existing business models be further developed. The dimension culture describes behavior, norms and forms of cooperation and communication of the stakeholders involved in the process of teaching and learning. A sustainable implementation of educational innovations requires cultural adaptations and must thus be accompanied by change management activities. In addition, the following three parameters must also be considered for the validation of the framework's sustainability. 
and respectively for the development of institution-specific WeR strategies. These parameters are the education system, the institution and its requirements, as well as the individuals. The education system defines the set of rules of structures and processes in the teaching and learning setting, in which WeR will be used. For example, scenarios in higher education institutions are characterized by more design freedom than in school scenarios. The institution contains the equipment, existing strategies or cultural values, as well as the existing support services. A well-developed IT infrastructure or experience in dealing with digital educational innovations, for example, facilitates the implementation of We Are. And the individuals are the target groups and stakeholders involved in the development of the We Are environment. Therefore, we must focus on what experiences do users make and how can their expectations be met. We have now come to the end of this podcast. Let us summarize the main thoughts. The didactical framework, as introduced in today's podcast, describes different dimensions for the implementation of innovations and therefore primarily supports the development and definition of innovation strategies in educational institutions. These dimensions included the didactical, organizational, economical, technological and socio-cultural aspects that need to be prepared before implementation of We Are strategies. It also takes into account the educational system, institutional requirements and the individual peculiarities. If you want to learn more about this framework, please check out the text reference in the show notes or send me a message. Thank you for listening. Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. If you liked this episode, please leave a review on your favorite podcast website. There's also a link in the show notes. If you've got any thoughts on this episode or if you've got any idea about new podcast topics or questions you'd like to discuss, send me an audio file or voice note to hi at profmanagement.de. For any non-audio comments, drop a tweet or DM to at profmanagement on Twitter or Instagram, please. For more information, visit my website www.profmanagement.de. Thank you for listening and see you next time.